Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel NCRT Maths Hub. Today in this video, we will do worksheet number 60 for class 9 subject mathematics and today our topic is circle part 5. So in this session, we are going to learn about cyclic quadrilateral. So today we are going to cyclic quadrilateral ke mein, ki cyclic quadrilateral kya hota hai. So usse pehle mein understanding honi chahiye segment aur quadrilateral ke baare mein. So hum segment ke baare mein last video pehle hi padh chuke hain ki segment kaise banta hai. Segment kya hota hai. So if we say we have a circle with chord AB. So line segment AB is known as chord of circle. So chord AB and this minor arc AB you can see here arc AB and this chord AB will form a minor segment. Or you can see the reason enclosed with the chord and minor arc AB is known as minor segment and the reason enclosed between the major arc that is APB and the chord AB will be known as you can see this reason here. So this reason is known as major segment as this is enclosed by you can say this is formed by major arc APB and chord AB. So segment is formed with the corresponding minor or major arc and chord. So major arc form major segment and minor arc form minor segment. So now quadrilateral. So quadrilateral kya hota hai? So quadrilateral is a closed shape that is made up of four line segment. So we have already studied about the quadrilaterals like parallelogram, rectangle, square, rhombus and trapezium and many more form of the quadrilateral. So we must have understanding about the segment and quadrilateral so that we can easily learn about cyclic quadrilateral. So now you can see we have two figures on the screen that is in the first figure a circle and a quadrilateral are there. So in the quadrilateral A, B, C, D we all can see the four vertex of the quadrilateral A, B, C, D lie on the circle and in the second figure we can see M and O are lying on the circle whereas point P or vertex P lie inside the circle. So keep in mind if all the four vertex of the quadrilateral lie on the circle then the quadrilateral will be known as cyclic quadrilateral. Keep in mind I am repeating if all the four vertex of the quadrilateral lie on the circle then that quadrilateral will be known as cyclic quadrilateral. So here we can see M and O lie on the circle whereas P don't lie on the circle. So we can say M and O P is not a cyclic quadrilateral whereas A, B, C, D is a cyclic quadrilateral. So keep in mind, so all the four vertex of it lie on the circle. So the A, B, C, D is a cyclic quadrilateral. So now draw a circle of on a paper and make a cyclic quadrilateral A, B, C, D on it. Cut all the four angles with the help of scissor. This is an activity. Now join A with C and B with the D and you will find a plus c equals to 180 and b plus d equals to 180. So, this is an activity for you. Like you have made a cyclic quadrilateral. So, you can see what you have to cut with scissors and join with a and c and then join with a 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 that we have the result the sum of either pair of the opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral is 180 degree. So, जब भी हमें कोई cyclic quadrilateral दिया है, उसके opposite angles का sum कितना होगा? 180 होगा. So keep in mind, cyclic in cyclic quadrilateral sum of opposite angle will be 180 degree. So now you can see in quadrilateral PQRS we have PQRS. This is quadrilateral. So is हमसे पूछा जा रहा है is in quadrilateral PQRS P plus R equals to 180 degree and Q plus R equals to 180 degree is quadrilateral PQRS is cyclic. So, if we have this angle ka sum 180 given hai, in the opposite angles ka sum 180 hai, then we can say that PQRS is cyclic quadrilateral. Hai. Means the converse of the theorem. So, this converse is the first theorem we have is the converse that if we have given the opposite angle ka sum 180 hai, then the quadrilateral will be cyclic and all the four vertex of the quadrilateral will lie on the circle. So, if the sum of pair of opposite angle is 180 degree, then the quadrilateral will be cyclic. So keep in mind. So now we have an example. You can see ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral whose diagonal intersect at point E. You can see in the figure here. And angle DBC, we are given DBC, this has 70 degree and BAC as 30 degree. And we need to find BCD. We BCD find out karna hai. BCD, this angle we are to find. So we can see here. BC is a chord that forms two segments. 
and angle A and D both are in the same segment that is in major segment so angle A will be equal to angle D so this will be 30 degree and now you can see in triangle BCD we have this angle as 70 this angle as 30 so by angle sum property we can find 70 plus 30 plus angle C equals to 180 so angle C will be equal to 180 minus 100 that is equals to 80 degree so we will get so you have to write here angle BAC equals to BDC as angle in the same segment that is made, made by the code BC and now BAC as 30 degree so BDC will be 30 degree so now in triangle BCD so B you can see here BCD BCD plus CBD plus BCD equals to 180 degree sum of interior angles of triangle as 180 degree so 30 plus 70 plus BCD equals to 180 degree so BCD will be 80 degree so BCD will be 80 degree so now in example number 2 we are given figure so you can see here in figure PQRS we are given angle PQR as 80 degree so now as PQR is a cyclic quadrant so sum of opposite angle will be 180 degrees so this angle PSR plus PQR will be 180 so this angle will be 100 degree so we can say PQR plus PSR equals to 180 degree and 80 plus PSR will be 180 degree implies we can say PSR will be 180 minus 80 that is 100 degree so here we have 100 mil jata hai so now as this one and this one are lie on the straight line ASP so we can say ASR plus PSR will be equals to 180 degree that is linear pair so ASR plus PSR equals to 180 degree so PSR we have already 100 degree so ASR plus 100 degree equals to 180 implies ASR will be 80 degree so my angle ASR mil jata jo ki kitna hai 80 degree so now we have two question for practice so let's move ahead for solution so in question number one in the given figure we are given ABCD as cyclic quadrilateral you can see and in which AC and BD are the diagonals so if angle DBC we are given DBC this angle as 55 degree and BAC as 45 degree so find BCD so may BCD find out karna hai so you can see all here BC is the chord so angle A and D are in the same segment as this angle and this angle are formed by the same chord BC so these are in the same segment we can say angle A equals to angle D so a cyclic quadrilateral we are given ABCD in which angle DBC equals to 55 degree and BAC as 45 degree so now we need to find angle BCD we BCD find out karna hai so now as angle BAC and BDC you can see this one and this one are in the same segment of circle therefore angle BAC equals to BDC so now angle BDC will be equals to 45 degree as we are already given that BAC equals to 45 degree so if BAC 45 degree ka hai to BDC bhi kya hoga 45 degree ka kyunki dono kya same segment mein bane major segment mein bane kaun hai so dekhi dono segment angle jo bane kisne banaye chord BC ne banaye hai so dono kaha same segment mein hi hai so dono ki value kya hogi same hogi so BDC mein mil jata hai 45 degree so now in triangle BCD आप देखते हैं कि triangle BCD में हम देखते हैं कि हमें angle पे 45 मिल जाता है ये 55 में given है, so ये angle हम find out कर सकते हैं by angle sum property. So in triangle BCD by angle sum property we can say angle B plus C plus D will be equal to 180 degree. We are given B as 55 and we need to find angle C that is BCD and we are D already find हमने find out कर लिया है D as 45 degree. So 55 plus 45 will be 100. So C plus 100 equals to 180 degree and C will be equals to 180 minus 100 that is equals to 80 degree. So angle BCD will be equals to 80 degree. So BCD will be 80 degree. So now PQRS question number 2 is PQRS is a cyclic quadrilateral. If Q equals to 65 and R equals to 65, we need to find P and S. We have to know about P and S. P kya hai aur S kya hai. So we are given a cyclic quadrilateral PQRS in which angle Q equals to 65 and R equals to 65. We need to find these two angles. So PQR is a cyclic quadrilateral in which Q is 65, R is 65. We need to find P and S. So as PQRS is a cyclic quadrilateral, so angle P plus R equals to 180 degree. So you can see here P plus R equals to 180 degree and similarly Q plus S will be 180 degree. As sum of pair of opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral is 180 degree. So we are already given P, so put the value of, sorry, we are already given angle R, so put angle value R, that is 65 degrees, so angle P plus 65 equals to 180 degree and similarly we are given value Q, so that is 65, 65 plus S equals to 180 degree, so P will be 180 minus 65, that is 115, so angle P will be 115 degree and S will be 115 degree, so this is all about question number 2.
and worksheet number 60 so if you learn from this video then please do subscribe my channel and share this video as much as you can thanks for watching